week of the 2022 Dakar Rally ended with the second of two loop stages around Saudi Arabia's capital, and Team Audi Sport has achieved its first target at Audi's Dakar debut. All three Audi RSQ e-trons have reached the rest day in Riyadh. Matthias Ekström and Emil Berkvist scored their first top three stage results, finishing second just one minute and six seconds behind today's stage winner, Orlando Terranova. This means all three Audi teams have now scored at least one stage podium. The last kilometer we did a little picnic tour and lost one minute twenty and uh, come to the finish and initially a bit disappointed but then when we saw that we were P2 we were very positively surprised. It was a tough Friday though for the other two Audi teams, both losing over 40 minutes. Carlos Sainz and Lucas Cruz were leading the stage before being forced to stop with a broken damper. Later they had to stop a second time because one of the wheels they had fixed came loose. Stefan Peterhansel and Edouard Bollinger stopped both times to help their teammates. Today, they had a spare damper on board, which meant that they didn't have to wait for the service truck and were able to continue after assisting their teammates. Yeah, it was a little bit of a nightmare. Then, then we couldn't somehow change the wheel and continue and yeah, finish. The good point is that we are the rest day. There is a three cars, three cars are here. We know the problem. We know that it's possible to solve and uh, we have the good performance, so it's uh, a good direction. A look at today's results. Matthias Ekström and Emil Berkvist achieved their first Dakar stage podium with their second place finish. Carlos Sainz and Lucas Cruz lost 41 minutes and 23 seconds, with Stefan Peterhansel and Edouard Boulanger further 55 seconds behind. Matthias Ekström and Emil Berkvist made a big step in the overall standings as the best-placed Audi team. week of the 2022 Dakar Rally ended with the second of two loop stages around Saudi Arabia's capital, and Team